uh, stay in and stay safe. Thanks for watching my videos again. This is um, going back to the sketch we did before on the last video. So I thought I'd paint it. So white and then yellow and then yellow ochre, okay? If you haven't got yellow ochre, you can have white with a little bit of brown in it, you know? Um, this is a really basic small canvas. So um, I just thought I'd do a video on how I would paint the sketch that I've done already. I thought it might be interesting for you. For those of you who've got paint and want to have a go at this or so it's mainly yellow and a little bit of like you know yellow ochre and that is basically yellow with a little bit of brown and mixed in with it and you can see there and then i mix in some burnt sienna but that is basically adding a little bit of red to your brown if you, have, if, you know if you haven't got burnt sienna you can use a little bit of that here's a big brush i got from a diy shop that's to blend all the colors in this is oil paint but you can do this with acrylic if you want if you've got acrylic paint so I've blended it all in. Now this little brush here, look, it's all messed up. That's great for doing grass. So I've got some burnt sienna here, uh, which is the same browns and colors. I'm using the same sort of three or four colors in the whole painting, which is uh, yellow, white, burnt sienna and burnt umber. Um, and you can see here I'm adding all the grass. See, if you've got a brush that's all messed up, if you haven't got a brush that, that is messed up, stomp it on the table, and it all be messed up. Here's a small brush, right? I'm doing the same tree I drew yesterday, but I'm doing it with paint instead. So I'm painting the same tree that we did yesterday, but with acrylic paint. I'm using burnt sienna, burnt umber, you know, various browns um, and yellows into the tree trunk. I added that extra branch on the right, uh, left hand side because I thought it needed it. This is burnt umber going in a bit darker. If you don't know how to make it darker, just add a bit of black. So I'm just kind of using the brush here to bring that tree into life. Painting is way more easier than uh, drawing, I think. So this little brush here, this is a tiny brush. It's got like a few bristles on it. I'm using that with a really dark brown to kind of add some really tiny branches. And if you're using water-based paint, mix it with water so you can get really fine line if you use an oil based paint like i am then use white spirit and make it thinner there's some shadows down there that's burnt umber and black whatever um so now i'm going to go in with the foliage foliage of the tree so i'm using the same colors again dark browns so this whole painting is basically yellows and browns okay if you you know if you've got some of those colors on your palette whatever they are watercolor Acrylic, um, you can use pastel crayons, pastel pencils, whatever. You can still copy the idea that I'm doing here. Um, so I'm adding some leaves to the tree, but I'm using a bristle brush here, you know, just back and forward with it. It's trying to, but I've got a lot of shine on the video. I realize there's a lot of light on the video and where I've got the lights, it doesn't show exactly what I'm doing. And I got really annoyed with that. So I kind of tried moving the camera, but that didn't work. Maybe I'll just move the canvas. There you go. Just move the canvas. There you go. So you can see without the shine. I've got some really dark brown up here. So again, you can add a little bit of black to your browns and stuff. And this this brush here is, is kind of messed up and old anyway. So it gives these little bits. See? It's all messed up. So it gives you that. Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> okay. So that was me showing you. If your brush is too nice, smack it on the table. All right? smack it right down on the table a few times. You shouldn't do that really because it destroys new brushes. But you get this weird random sort of texture to the brush. And there you go. So I'm adding that. See, when I put it back in the light, it shines. It's awkward. It's really hard to make these videos without someone actually filming you doing it. You can't really... Yeah, can't feel it. So anyway, let's go back to the people. Back to the same people we drew in the last drawing. I'm using paint, so I'm using the brown person again. I'm using the same browns, dark browns. That's burnt sienna, burnt umber. And I'm doing that same person that was sitting under the tree, but I'm doing it in paint instead of pencil. There you go. Got some shadows below the, oh, the heads. Oh, let's put a bun on the head. Maybe this is a woman sitting and she's got hair in a bun. So I added some darks around that. Um, it's really difficult to, 
you know, obviously, you ha if you haven't got the colours, then you can improvise. But, you know, it's basically white, yellow, brown, and dark brown. This is my angel. See, this is a person helping out. Paint that in white. It's really difficult to do this, but the body's there. There you go. It's like a carrot shape. So it's like basically a carrot with one arm and a head. And then it probably the light comes from that person into the grass. So I added some white and yellow. Got some yellow here on the brush. But, oh, too much. But I started blending it into the grass. So this person is kind of lighting up the grass around them. It's really important that if something's emulating light, that they reflect all the things around them. So I put some light on this person as well, on the front of the person. A little bit there. Because that per you know, because it emulates light from that that figure. So it's almost like a, a sun. Um, I made some marks there on the right hand side, so now I'm covering them up. Because I use my little finger. <laughs> um, you see the importance of uh, making sure your hands are clean as well. So um, I think that's it. That's the final painting. I added some wings when you weren't looking. Sorry about that, but I did. Um, stay in, stay safe, and please post your videos and hashtag them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to um, buy the painting, it's on our website, probably. <laughs>